siamo al Salone del Risparmio in compagnia di Neil Dwayne, Chief Investment Officer di Allianz Global Investors. Eh, a lui eh, che terrà una conferenza questo pomeriggio su un tema molto particolare, chiediamo di che cosa parlerà e come questo tema può essere utile all'investimento. Si parla di tecnologie rivoluzionarie, disruptive, che possono eh, cambiare eh, i, eh, come, il mondo va, come il mondo funziona. Uh, this afternoon, you are going to talk about disruptive technology and how this technology can change the world, but also the investment. So, uh, this conference, uh, what uh, is uh, the focus of this conference? What will you tell to? Can you give us uh, some anticipation? I'd be delighted to. I think what is interesting about the theme of disruption is we know that many clients are already wrestling with an uncertain environment, a low interest rate environment, and an environment where politics and geopolitics around the world is, is creating nervousness in their, in their investments and their confidence of the markets. But what we think is also interesting for disruption is we're seeing changing consumer behavior and changing technology really beginning to affect many, many industries. And so, given that uncertainty, Allianz Global Investors wants to help clients think through some of the dynamics that are now causing their investments in the equity markets and the credit markets to look more attractive or less attractive. Initially, this is a defensive maneuver from an investment perspective because clearly it's very hard to always find the winners. If you think about an Uber or an Airbnb, a lot of the winners are being invented in America rather than invented here in Italy and, and in Germany. So initially what we want to do is make sure we don't own the losers, the people who are going to suffer from the arrival of Uber or from um, similar types of opportunities. But the reason that this is now happening now and why we're focusing on it now is that we can see disruption occurring in the economy very quickly. Everyone in the last four or five years has now become very practiced at shopping on the internet, having products delivered to their homes on the internet. But this is going to increase in the next five to ten year, years in our view because we have the handover of consumption from the baby boomers who are in their 50s and 60s to their children, the millennials, who were all born after 1985. The millennials need the internet and a phone and everything else they can do for their lives. So if you don't have a banking app, if you don't have a good internet site, if you cannot deliver your products through the internet using Posta Italiana or someone to, live, to deliver the logistics, you are going to lose those customers. So what we are trying to do inside our research process is to understand the value chain in an industry and where it is capable of being disrupted. And then we talk to management and engage with our analysts to understand how they are offsetting those challenges or how they are taking advantage of those challenges. The interesting thing for many Italian companies and for many European companies is that the emerging markets of Asia and Latin America are also being disrupted. Vietnam, for an example, has already gone from no telephony 30 years ago to an entire mobile network. It does not have landlines. So therefore, they are an interesting opportunity because the barriers to entry of selling your products in Vietnam are now very, very low. And of course, we expect the largest consumer markets in the world to be where the largest populations in the world are, that is in Asia, where 5 billion of the 7 billion of the global citizens live. And obviously, Alibaba is now the largest internet company in the world servicing the Chinese market. They are leading everything that is being done by Amazon and, and other types of company in China and looking to expand around Asia. So we think this is a global phenomenon and it is a way for investors to think in Europe about how the companies they invest in here can benefit from that disruption to take their products globally and to access new consumer markets. Okay, very good. As the, the, main, uh, the main theme of the Salone del Risparmio is uh, uh, the savings, the risparmio, and uh, the, uh, the pensions, the retirement. Uh, these uh, uh, disruptive technologies have a, a longer uh, a long term view. Uh, so these, they fit perfectly for a, a purpose of a saving for the pension, for the retirement. Y yes, indeed they do. And I think given that much of the markets, both the bond markets and the equity markets, are buffeted by ECB and central bank policy, I think we would advise our clients um, through Allianz Global Investors to take as long a term view as possible because then you avoid the volatility in the short term 
but you have confidence in the business models that you're investing in in the longer term. And I think the interesting dynamic, particularly here in Europe now, with negative interest rates foreseeably here for the, for, for the medium term, is cash and many sovereign bonds are going to yield no return for the next five years. So if you want a return, you've got to look long term into the medium term, in which case there are clear identifiable trends of who the winners are likely to be in that environment and who the losers are likely to be. And as I said, whilst we can't identify all the winners, we can certainly identify those industries that are going to come potentially losers and advise our clients to simply invest in the potential winners. Very good. Abbiamo ascoltato Neil Duane, Chief Investment Officer di Alliance Global Investors. Thank you, Neil. Thank you very much. Thank you.